Hello everyone on YouTube, this is John with another tech examination for you. I just wanted to point out that sometimes it's really worth spending some extra money to get a good tool instead of a cheap ass one. Here is an example of that. This black uh, filter wrench for my Scion looks like it would be wonderful even with little slots on the sides of it which appear to be designed to grab onto the tabs on my oil filter assembly cap but they don't reach down that far instead you have just a little bit of the ridges inside the tool making contact with the very top of the filter cover assembly. So that means that those tabs really don't do any good and all that happens is the thing barely gets onto the end of the uh, filter assembly and since it has such really loose tolerances that socket just jumps right off. If you've ever tried to uh, break loose an old nut or bolt that has some rounded edges to it or you have a wrench that's a little oversized or just not of good quality you'll know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you really need it to have some good close tolerances and plenty of strength. Well that black one just does not do it. Here that cheap wrench is sitting on top of an oil filter cover, a new one which I just bought in order to uh, replace a damaged one, which was damaged by that cheap socket. Here you can see it looks like those notches on the socket are designed to fit in nicely onto those tabs and really get a good grip. The thing is, those, those slots don't even get hardly near the tabs. The whole thing is just badly designed. But without it being uh, sold on Amazon with a picture of it sitting on an actual uh, oil filter cover, there's no way to know. And in fact, unfortunately, I didn't realize how awful it is until I needed to break loose a, a stubbornly tight oil filter cap. And at that point, it's outside of the uh, return period with Amazon, so I'm just stuck with it, unfortunately. But don't cry for me too much, guys. Here's the replacement tool that I bought for about triple the price, and it is worth every penny, I'll tell you. This thing is very well made, and I'm quite pleased with it. It was able to, uh, with the help of a breaker bar, budge loose my bad uh, oil filter cover, and um, I could not have done it without this tool. Here they both are side by side, and as you can see in the image there, you can see where the black paint has rubbed off on the edges within that black socket. That's the only portion of it which ever made contact with my uh, filter cover. So that doesn't leave a whole lot there to, to grab onto and it's so wobbly loose anyway it does little good. Actually, that old black socket could possibly work if I were to cut off that final quarter inch or so there with the slots and everything. If, if that feature were removed, it might actually then have enough of the uh, 14 flutes in there uh, making contact with the filter assembly in order to actually work. But then again, I kind of doubt it because of the fact that it's just such a loose fit anyway. Now here I'm giving you a close-up look of the new socket. 
it's just so much better. No more slots on the sides and any of that stupidity that doesn't really do any good. If you have a tightly fitting, well-machined uh, surface like this right here going on to just the sides of, of this, uh, you don't need those tabs at all. So here we go. Take a look at this. I can see that this absolutely positively fits snugly. There, there is no wobble that's going to cause the thing to jump out when I'm trying to loosen an overly tight filter assembly to try to get it off. This absolutely is going to do the job, and I'm happy with it. Okay, guys, there's a quick comparison between my very superior and new socket versus this old thing for about a third the cost and worth far less than that. Uh, looks at first like, gee, these slots might really be great working on these fins on here. You think, okay, great, that, won't that be wonderful? Uh, nope, not at all, because they don't actually do anything. And so there we have a very loose fitting tool. So, if we take this and put it on, that's a hell of a lot better fit. That's not going to cause me to have it fall off and break things on the way out. This other one here wasn't even close to working for me. And the reason I'm able to shoot this indoor video with this nice clean unit here is because the old black socket ruined the old filter cover. So here we are. Oh yeah, and by the way, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if I've been of any help to you, it'd be nice to know that. Uh, one of these days, maybe if I have lots of subscribers someday, I'll uh, start expanding content and feel incentivized to do so. But anyway, thanks again. Have a great day.